Hi, I am Marie Bernard, the host of Synchronicity Talk Radio for your mind, body, and soul. And a few weeks ago, I had the ladies from Refresh Natural Health on the show, and I will post a link below. Their interview is the second half of the hour. And what we were talking about was colon hydrotherapy. And I never really considered getting colon hydrotherapy before until I had them on the show. And Crystal from Refresh Natural Health had so many health problems and challenges and it really she really attributes her wellness to colon hydrotherapy as well as a, a bunch of other things that she's done for her health so I was really curious about it and I decided to ask them basically I said hey if you let me try out the colon hydrotherapy I will vlog about it and let people know so that is the deal that's going on. I'm not getting any commission for sending you there, but if you are interested in colon hydrotherapy, you can go to Refresh Natural Health, and I will post a link to their website below, and they are in Burnaby, just on the border of Burnaby and Vancouver. They're just on the other side of Boundary Road on, uh, well, they face Lowheat Highway, so I'll, I'll send the link below. Anyway, so my experience, I went in yesterday for my first colon hydrotherapy session and I was pretty scared and nervous. I didn't really know what to expect. Essentially, I thought they were going to stick a hose up my bum and hose me out. <laughs> um, it's a little different than that. Um, there is another video showing the speculum that they insert. In, uh, I'll also post a link to that video but I wanted to share my experience so I afterwards I felt I didn't really feel any better or worse I I didn't eat much yesterday I had a hard-boiled egg for breakfast and then I'm not supposed to eat two hours before and I'm not supposed to have a heavy meal so I didn't get home until later on and I still wasn't very hungry so I don't know if that's normal or not um, it was definitely interesting to observe and I did feel tired later on in the evening much more than I, I'm quite a night owl so I don't usually start to get tired until 11 12 1 a.m. but I was tired around 7 or 8 and so that could have been the detoxification happening and during the session considering the circumstances it was quite comfortable I did have moments where I would feel some nausea come up um, and then it would pass and there was also some feelings um, in as the water was coming up into my colon um, and even as it was passing out um, I did have some slight discomfort and cramping it wasn't exactly painful it was more that feeling of "ooh, I really have to go um, and so that was the experience and it lasted, uh, we took about an hour because there was lots of conversation going on and I was asking lots of questions. Next time I go in, I'm going to bring my video camera and set it up so that we can record a lot more of the session because Sandra has so much information to share. She really is knowledgeable because she has just been on a mission for years to help heal her daughter from all of these chronic conditions that she was suffering from, uh, partly due to heavy metal um, poisoning, we'll say. So anyway, she has a, a lot of great information and a huge passion for colon hydrotherapy and what it can do for you. Um, and I think the, the most important thing to let people know is that the instrument that they use is very regulated with the pressure and everything because on Facebook someone posted the concern that there could be like a puncture in my colon from colon hydrotherapy. And what they the instrument that they use is FDA approved and you'll see images of it in the other video there there are a number of safety measures where it will shut down if the pressure is too high if a water main breaks or something and there's the water is too hot there are a lot of safeguards to keep you both comfortable and safe so that's probably the most important thing um, if you have any questions about more about what it was like 
feel free to post your questions below and I will do my best to address them. So I'm going to be getting another colon hydrotherapy session in the next couple of weeks and hopefully there will be some changes happening. Um, one of the biggest things that I'm hoping will improve is that I have a lot of joint pain that comes and goes. So I'm hoping to see an improvement in that. I also have some autoimmune, uh, the joint pain is also probably autoimmune, um, but I also have some autoimmune issues with my skin and I'm hoping that I'll see an improvement with that. Also my energy and if I happen to lose weight because of it, that would be wonderful too. So I will keep you posted. I'm going to keep vlogging about my colon hydrotherapy experiences. So if you're interested or have questions, please post them below. Have a wonderful day. Be well. Namaste.